This is Chibi from carrypad.com at EFA 2010. We're at the ViewSonic booth with ViewSonic 100. This is a, a hybrid Android and Windows 7 device uh, built on x86 platform. Actually, it's the N455 processor, so it's Pine Trail inside. So the latest, uh, the latest stuff. We're running Android here, but I just want to take you around the device, uh, do a little bit of work on Android, and then we'll show you uh, Windows 7. So fairly slim and light device. Uh, Kind of iPad way, just a little bit more maybe, I guess around the, the 850, 900 grams mark. Uh, fan input there, it's kind of a giveaway that this is an x86 device. And then on the right hand side we've got a selection of ports, we've got the micro SD, we've got, uh, I'm not sure if that's VGA or HDMI out via uh, uh, an adapter cable, two USB uh, host ports, headphones, and there's a microphone there on the top. Again, there's an exhaust port. Uh, you've got your um, yeah, that's it, uh, SIM card for 3G that goes in the top there. And then on the right-hand side, there's nothing there, nothing on the underside. On the back, so it looks like a couple of speakers maybe, and uh, maybe another fan or air outlet port. I don't know, but uh, nice clean design. It looks like an aluminium backing, and the whole thing seems pretty, uh, pretty sturdy and strong. Uh, capacitive touchscreen. Uh, under Windows, it's uh, two-finger multi-touch, and uh, under Android, they've got a little uh, special feature here that actually allows you to uh, run five Windows and select them fairly easily. So, Android is actually pretty fast on this, I have to say. Uh, bringing up the browser is super quick. We haven't got a lot of um, we haven't got a lot of bandwidth here, I think. But let's uh, see if we can load up a web page. See how. See how quick that is. Should be pretty quick. I'm expecting under 10 seconds. Okay, that's actually very quick. And that was the mobile page. So we go to the full website now. And yeah, as you'd expect, that's super quick. That is really nice and smooth. It was well under 10 seconds. That was really netbook, netbook style browsing speeds there. Notice the uh, there's some flash elements here that are missing, so there's no flash support in it. Uh, but we've got multi-touch zoom. Let's go through to another website, and that's working really, really quick. It's a very smooth experience on Android here. Now, of course, this won't be um, bringing you any extra battery life than Windows 7 because this is x86 build, and we're not expecting uh, any more uh, battery life on Android. Uh, compared to Windows 7, maybe 5-10%, but nothing more than that. So let's go to the home screen again, see what other uh, other things we've got. Standard Android build, it's 1.6. I'm not sure what the uh, memory is on it. Let's see if we can uh, just quickly check the, the memory or the, the details. Um, yeah, we don't have those details here. One gig. Okay, one gig of RAM on this. With a 16 gig SSD. 16 gig built-in SSD. But the memory is DDR3. Okay. So fast, fast. <laughs> and and we think it's built on yeah Android x86 project. Um, but it looks fairly standard at the moment. So this is kind of interesting. It boots fast into Android, and of course it gives you a nice simple. Uh, user experience. So let's see if we can uh, test out uh, Windows 7 on this now. Okay, here you see the uh, operating system choice, Windows 7 we're going to go for here. Let's see how long that takes to boot. Should be fairly uh, standard boot time, so 40 to 60 seconds, Windows 7, this is home premium. And uh, like I said, one gig of RAM and the N55 uh, processor should help that along pretty swiftly. So, just waiting for 7 to boot up there, home premium on this. Tested it earlier, it is a two finger multi touch, uh, screen resolution is 1024 by 600, and you've got proper Windows tablet features here. So the uh, on screen keyboard is working. And uh, I can show you two finger multi touch with the uh, paint application. Let's just get rid of that keyboard. One, two, and uh, three doesn't work. So it's two finger multi touch. And that's really quite smooth there. Let's get that away. And uh, okay. So, what else can I show you on Windows 7? We think uh, 
battery life is going to be something in the region of, and I'm, I've been checking the battery usage, something in the region of three to four hours in use with the screen on, connected to the Wi-Fi, and we're not unfortunately connected to um, to the uh, to the web here. But this seems to be a fairly typical Windows 7, if not slightly better Windows 7 performance than you see on a, a netbook. I want to just show you one thing here. That's the um, under the system properties, you'll see the performance rating, Windows experience rating, that's 2.3, and I'll show you the details. There's 5.4 for the hard disk, so it looks like the actual 16 uh, gigs of uh, flash in this is um, pretty fast. Let's have a look, see how much flash disk we have available. So, of the 16 gig, there's only 3.5 gig left, so this is not a device for storing huge amounts of documents on, um, but with the micro SD card, you can put 32 gigs in there, and you've got a reasonable amount of uh, storage for music and uh, for documents. So, all in all, actually looks like a pretty complete product, so very similar to the uh, ViewPad 7 we, we, we saw yesterday, that uh, this is quite complete, and uh, in terms of pricing, not sure, we're going to get that up on the screen on this video, and uh, availability also on the screen as we do this video. Alright, this is Steve Payne, Chippy from EMC Portal and CarryPad.com at IFA at the ViewSonic booth. Thanks for watching.